Hello MTG fans, this is Brian with MTG Resurgence, and it's release day, and it's a little after midnight, and i um, got myself a box of Dragons of Tark here that I'm going to be opening for you. So I've already opened a bunch of pre-release boxes, and now we're going to get started off and opening the booster box of Dragons of Tark here. Alright, let's get cracking. Alright, little insert. And start with a crack out pack of dragons. Alright, so I'm just gonna get focused here. Alright, first pack here. We're gonna open. And some of the notable cards from this set is Narset, Sarkon, and uh, the Dragon Lords. Alright. Let's um, get started here. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus in. Alright, go straight to the uncommons. Roast. Awesome. Awesome uncommon. Uh, I'm sorry, I just need a little more focused for you. Alright, Roast. Silk Wrap. Deathwind. And our first rare is, is a mythic Dragon Lord Silumgar. Six for a three-five flying death touch. When Dragon Lord enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature or planeswalker for as long as you control Dragon Lord Silmagar. Awesome. And we have a foil Acid Spewer Dragon. Cool. Well, that wasn't already a nice booster pack, mythic, and a foil. Alright, let's keep going. First uncommon, Swift Warkite, Salt World Quartermasters, Scale Blessing, and a Pitless Horde. Three, five, three. At the beginning of your upkeep, lose two life and dash of four. This is actually my pre release promo card. It was, uh, it's dash packs a lot better than playing it. Definitely a lot better. Alright. There's uh, definitely some good things in here. Especially with the uncommons. Tremoka's Gift. Order of Ojotai. Storm Rider Rig. And a Jotai's Command. Four. Instant speed. Choose two. Turn target creature card with converted man cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. You gain four life. Counter target creature spell or draw a card. I like these new commands, especially that you can choose two. Pretty sweet. Alright, morph token and a forest. Alright. So far we're not doing bad. So alright. Culligan Monument, Draconic Roar, Dragon Hunter, cool card, and another mythic, Clone Legion. It's a 9 drop sorcery for each creature target player controls. Put a token onto the battlefield that's a copy of that creature. That can be, um, I guess, a limited bomb. I don't know how much standard play it'll see. And a foil. Foul tongue shriek. Alright. So, four packs in. Two mythics. Not bad. So, let's get a really good mythic. Alright. There you go. Herd Chaser Dragon. Surge of Righteousness. Dramoka Monument. And Secure the Waste. One white next, for next one, one white warrior tokens on the battlefield. Pretty cool. So, what do you guys so far think of the new dragon set? Like to uh, get some feedback. And as you guys know from my uh, pre release videos, we are doing a contest. First 100 subscribers, we're going to five packs to um, 
each to uh, two su subscribers at random of the new Dragon's Guitar Hero set. So, if you guys like my videos, click the like button. If you want to be a subscriber, yeah, click the subscribe button. Alright. And Stormwing Dragon, Skywise Teachings, Silumgar Monument, and Obscuring Aether. One enchantment based on creature spells. You cast cost one less. Two turning obscure. You can make it a two-two creature. All right. And uh, oh yeah, I did get this uh, wonderful box from the Gaming Goat in Geneva, Illinois. It's a uh, awesome place. They have various magic singles. Definitely get all your magic cards there. You can get um. They always are loaded with all the standard um, sets for uh, booster packs and booster boxes. Dromoko Captain, Antioch Survivalist, Shield High Dragon, and a Blessed Reincarnation. Four instant speed has rebound, exile target creature and opponent controls. That player reveals cards from the top of his or her library until a creature card is revealed. That player puts that card onto the battlefield, then shuffles the rest of the library. Alright, not bad. And awesome, Foil Myth Realize. I've been wanting this card and now I got a foil. Sweet. One white for an enchantment. Whenever you cast a nine creature spell, put a lower counter on it. Or you can pay one white and two and put a lower counter on it. Pay one white until end of turn. Myth Realize is a monk avatar creature in addition to its other types and it gains. This creature has power and toughness are each equal to the number of lore counters on it. Sweet. I'm glad I got that as my rare foil. Another set foil would have been nice, but it can't be too picky. And that is actually a pretty sweet foil. Alright. Let's keep cracking. Alright. Inspiring Call. Rendering Volley. Awesome card. Definitely a good card. Stone Grand Monk. And another mythic. Dragon Whisperer. Two for a 2 2. Dragon Whisperer gains flying until end of turn with one red. Pay one red and one. Gains plus one plus zero. And it has formidable of six. Put a four put a four four red dragon creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Activate this ability only if you have creatures power of eight. Sweet three mythics. I like these new little goblin tokens they got. So one side, and I've already got three mythics. I hope that doesn't ruin my chance of a uh, royal awesome mythic. Don't get me wrong, Dragon Whisperer is an awesome mythic. All right, Dragon Lord Servant, definitely a cool card. Great Teacher's Decree. A Tarka Monument and a Corpse Weft. Three enchantment. Pay one black and one. Exile one or more creature cards from your graveyard. Put a XX Black Zombie creature token where X is twice the number of creatures exiled. Sweet and a mountain. Alright, on to the next pack. Ruthless Death Fang, Antioch Survivalist, Graceblade Artisan, and an Avatar of Resolute. To green for a 3 2 reach with trample. Avatar of Resolute enters the battlefield with a 1 1 counter on, on it for each other creature with a 1 1 counter on it. That's not bad, especially if you got a lot of bolster going on. Definitely not a bad card. Almost done with the first row. Alright. Herd Chaser Dragon. Shield High Dragon. Dragon Loft Idol. And Berserker's Onslaught. 
5 enchantment, attack creatures you control have double strike. That's uh, not bad, but a little expensive. Awesome. Stonegar Monk. And a Stratus Dancer. Two for two one flyer Megamorph. When Stratus Dancer is turned face up, counter target instant or sorcerer spell. Alright. There's still no none of the planeswalkers yet. There's two of them, so you got a decent chance. Learn from the past. Explosive vegetation. Skywise teachings. And Ershan Sovereign. Seven for a six-six flyer. When it dies, you may put it on the top or bottom of your library. Alright. I guess not bad. You want to keep a creature in play. Or keep it going, or just keep it in your deck. And a glint, foil glint. And a dragon token. Alright, Sarkhan pack. Is there a Sarkhan? Or is it just going to be the Sarkhan punching the dragon? We'll see. Oh, Sarkhan's Rage. Alright, Battle Mastery. Seismic Rupture. Avon Sunstriker. And Illusionary Gains 5 for an enchant creature. You control an enchant creature. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under opponent's control, attach illusionary gains to it. I guess that could be kind of good. You take one of their creatures and uh, they put a better one in, attach it right on. Or if you get a hat work and attaches itself to a crappy creature. Who knows? Something I don't see playing. Sight beyond sight. Carl Sisma of Behemoth, Core Side Deceiver, and Volcanic Vision, 7 drop. Turn target instant sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Volcanic Vision deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to each creature your opponent controls. I guess that would be cool with like a Stoke the Flames. Definitely, but um, other than that, I'm not sure. Or I guess the new counter spell, force of will or sand. Alright. Anticipate that's another good card. I'm gonna I really like that as common. Sarkhan's Triumph. Good card. Search your library for a dragon. Salt Road Ambushers. Tapestry of the Ages. And Sunbringers Touch 4. For sorcery, bolster X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Each creature you control with a one counter on it gains trample. Alright. So how are you guys going out today? Going at midnight to your local gaming store and getting a boost box? Or even uh, waiting until the following day at FNM? I wanted to get this out for you guys quick. Virgilant Plague. So I decided to go at midnight. Lightning Berserker. Another good uncommon. Good Lur Lurker. I believe that's a pretty good uncommon to me. Damnable Pack. Two like an X. Target player draws X cards and loses X life. That could be a uh, work in various different ways. Especially with that one, um, Faded card from Born of the Gods. Whenever your opponent draws a card, it takes damage. You can just double it. Alright, Enduring Scale Lord. Sight of the Scale Lords. Encase in Ice. And a Pristine Skywise. 6 for a 6 4 flyer. Whenever it casts an odd creature spell, untap. Pristine Skywise. It gains protection from that color of your choice until end of turn. 
Alright. Not bad. Not a bad little dragon. I guess it's not just Kai anymore. Still trying to get used to the clan names. Still want to say Mardu or Just Guy. That's how I just see it as. Press the advantage. Storm Fragon Elemental. Ojotai Monument. And a Dragon Tempest. Two enchantment. Whenever a creature with flying enters the battlefield under your control, it gains haste. Whenever a dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player, or X is the number of dragons you control. That is pretty cool, actually. I like that, especially if you have a lot of dragons in your deck. So far in the middle of them, eh, could be a little better. So, get something really good. A regular myth realized. Alright. Cunning Breeze Dancer. Circle of Elders. Dragonloft Idol, and a Profound Journey. 7 drop, Sorcery, turn target permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield with Rebound. That is pretty expensive. I've noticed a lot of the cards in this set are very, very expensive. Alright. Selmgar Scorn. Sight of the Scale Lords, Encased in Ice, and Dragon Lords Prerogative. Six drop. Stint as an additional cast. Today you may reveal a dragon card from your hand. If you reveal a dragon card or control a dragon as you cast it, Dragon Lords can't be countered. Draw four cards. That's not that bad. Alright. Right, two more packs in the middle after this one. Let's get a mythic. Or foil. Either or. Tarkov Pummler. Stormwing Dragon. Slumgar Monument. Hidden Dragon Slayer. Two for a 2 1 lifelink. Magmorph. When Hidden Dragon Slayer is turned face up, destroy a target creature with power 4 or greater and opponent controls. That's not that bad actually. And I like it. Get rid of those pesky sea dragons. Or any, or any of the dragons. There's a lot of big dragons. Dramoka Captain. Rendering Valley. Rending Valley. Selmgar Spell Eater. And a Dragon Lord of Targa. Here's our mythic. 7 drop for 8 8 flying trample. When it enters the battlefield, it de deals 5 damage to fight it any way you choose among any number of creatures and/or planeswalkers. Not a bad dragon. I actually like that dragon a lot. It's my favorite Dragon Lord. Mainly because the trample. 8 8 flying trample. And then, you know, with a lot of these dragons, uh, especially with. And the red. Use that uh, team of battle rage and give it double strike. There you go. 8 8, give it 16 damage right away. I love that. Gate Smasher. Savage Vent Maw. I like this uncommon. Ojotai Monument. And another Dragon Lord. Dragon Lord Ojotai. 5 for a 5 4 flyer. It has hexproof as long as it's untapped. Whenever Dragon Lord Ojotai deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand, the rest at the bottom of your library. Alright, that is five mythics now. Not bad. Let's go for a sixth. Let's get it. I really like an Arson. Or a Sarkon. Actually, a Sarkon, I think. I know some people are hesitant on that one, but I have an idea for a Dragon deck. That's just me. Tarkov Pummler, Warbringer, Deadly Wanderings, and a Foe Razor Regent. 7 drop for a 4 5 flying. And whenever it enters a battlefield, you may have a fight target creature you don't control. Whenever 
uh, creature you control fights, put two 1-1 one -one counters on it at the beginning of the next end step. That is... Eh. I don't like the card. That was the uh, rare for the dice game at pre-release. I did get one. But still... Scale Lord, Sulngar Spell Leader, Foul Tongue Invocation, and I'm Necromaster Dragon. I drop for a 4 4 flyer. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may pay 2. If you do, put a 2 2 zombie creature token on the battlefield. And each opponent puts the top 2 cards of his or her library into the graveyard. That's not a bad dragon. So, I did get five methods. So far, we got many foils though. That's a, kind of weird. I mean, yeah, some boxes just don't have any foils. Virulent Plague. Scale Guard Sentinels. Ultimate Price. Awesome card. And a Sun Scorch Reagent. 5 drop, 4 3 flyer. When an opponent casts a spell, put a 1 1 counter on it. And you gain 1 life. That is a pretty cool card. Definitely really cool. Alright. Dance of the Skywise. Youthful Scholar. Self Inflicted Wound. And a Sulmgar's Command. Five. Choose two. Counter target non creature spell. Turn target permanent to its owner's hand. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. Or destroy target planeswalker. Not a bad command. Definitely uh, see that one in control deck most likely. You can destroy a small creature and a walker with it. Or just counter spell. While being wild, slow with the new artwork. Learn from the past. Colgon Forerunners. Minister of Pain. And an Iron Shaman. Two for two one. Can be blocked except by two or more creatures. Megamorph. When Iron Shaman is turned face up, exile top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card. That's alright. I mean, when a two drop, you probably want to play it later. You start exiling cards right away. And Second bigger page cards and might be a little hard to cast. Scion of Ugin. Savage Ventimal. Ambuscade Shaman. And for Finder of the Dead. Four drop for a three three with exploit. One for Finder of the Dead exploits a creature, return it. To their owner's hand, all creatures your opponent's controls with toughness less than, or less than the exploited creature's toughness. That's not okay. Alright. Getting down to the last few. We got one, two, three, four, five after this one. One more mythic. Come on. Let's do it. Echoes of the Kin Tree. Dreknor Roar, another ultimate price, and a Blood Chin Fanatic, 3 drop, 3-3. Three, three. Two, sacrifice another warrior, target player loses X life, and you gain X life, where X is the sacrifice creature's power. That's alright. But you are sacrificing a warrior, so it's gotta be a warrior deck. Definitely. Kasha Grey Color, Selengar Sorcerer, Morang River Skeleton, and a Den Protector. 2 for 2 1. Creature with power less than 10 Protectors, power can't block it. 1 Megamorph. When it's turned face up, turn target creature card from the graveyard to your hand. Alright, and Foil Magnetic Chasm. Go. Last 
last four packs. Oaked, Oaked Cobra. Void Squall. Bloodshed Ranger. And a Commune with Lava. Two red necks. Exile the top X card to your library until end of your next turn. You may play those cards. There's been a lot of uh, discussion of this card. A lot of people aren't sure whether or not they want to play it, whatnot. If it's any good. I personally think if you got if you draw it, you got nothing. You're in a burn deck or mono red or something. It can be pretty good. Or really any kind of deck. I think it's got some play in standard. All right. Echoes of the Country, Beltol Dragon, Acid Spure Dragon, a Follower and all four instant return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Target creature gets minus X minus X until in turn where X is the toughness of that card's returned. That's uh, pretty cool. Could definitely be a kill spell. And a Foil Enduring Victory. Sweet. Last two packs. Save the nerf set for last. Alright. Let's see what we'll do. Maybe another command. That would be even cool. Alright. Rashaka Grave Collar. Circle of Elders. Marine River Skeleton. And a Radiant Purge. Awesome rare to exile target multicolored creature or multicolored enchantment. That can definitely be good, especially now in standard. And a foil inspiring call. Sweet. Getting some foils. Last pack. Let us see what we get here. And we got five mythics, so go for a good rare. Skyne of Ogin. Good old Lurker. M. Buskhead Shaman. And a command. Dramoka's command. Alright. Sweet. White and green. Choose two. Prevent all damage. Can target instant or sorcery spell. That would deal damage this turn. Target player sacrifices an enchantment. Put a one counter on target creature. Or a target creature you control fights a target creature you don't control. That's not a bad command. And awesome, another foil rare. Boltwing Marauders. 5 drop for a 5 4 flyer. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. Not bad. 2 foil rares. 5 mythics. But no Narset or Sarkon. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, Please uh, click the subscribe button, like button, and uh, again I will be doing a uh, giveaway of 10 total Dragons of Tarkir packs um, between two people to random subscribers, and I will mail it anywhere. It's uh, be five packs to one person, five packs to the other. So uh, thank you.